Obese appeal lacking in merit, substance, and Tinubu tells Supreme Court. Can you imagine? I know that Tinubu is looking for a way to, um, he has approached Supreme Court to dismiss uh, uh, Atiku's appeal. Now you say that you know, uh, Peter Obi's appeal also lack merit and substance and so she be thrown out. What is merit and substance? What does that mean? Yeah? They're talking about legal technicalities now rather than facing the fact which is which is which is which is unacceptable. Okay. So let's dive into a detail and see why Tinubu or why Tinubu is saying that uh, Peter Obi's merit it lacks uh, sorry t Peter Obi's appeal lacks merit and substance. Okay, because he's looking for a way to retain himself as a uh, presidential, as president of Nigeria, even in all of these fraudulent uh, stories around him. Tinubu, who said Obi's appeal, which was based on allegations dismissed at the election petition tribunal, argued that the presidential election was peacefully conducted all over the country. Can you imagine? <laughs> was peacefully conducted. President Bola Tinubu has said the appeal by the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, is lacking in merit, substance, and good faith. Hmm. So Tinubu, who said Obi's appeal was based on allegations dismissed at the, allegation pet at the election petition tribunal, argued that the presidential election was peacefully conducted all over the country, and the result of the election were carefully and accurately recorded in the various forms of EC8As. This was contained in a response by his head lead counsel, Wale Olani Pekung San, to the appeal filed by Peter Obi challenging the decision of the tribunal. He said the entire petition was nothing but a jamboree of sorts which was uh, prosecuted more in the media than in the courtroom and in the lower court being a court of law and not of sentiment dutifully threw away their petition after painstakingly uh, consideration painstaking consideration of the same now if considered from every angle it's lacking in merit substance and good faith hmm. so this is what they're doing be it noted that unlike previous election petitions over which this honorable court has presided in time past and made far-reaching pronouncements on diverse issues including but not limited to ballot box matching, vote buying, voter intimidation, interference by the military, toggery, ballot st stuffing, violence, disenfranchisement, not non recording of votes in form ECAT, which is the building block or the base of the pyramid and such other electoral vices this appeal arising from a dismissed petition, the main grounds of which is that while the presidential election was peacefully conducted all over the country and results of election carefully and accurately recorded in the virus from ECHs, some unidentified and unspecified results, even in the appellant's brief, were not uploaded electronically to the IRF portal. Can you imagine? He noted that Obi failed to prove his allegations of non-compliance and corrupt practices as required by law. Hmm. So Tinubu said intrusively, however, the lower court appreciating that it is not a court of final, final instance proceeded to determine the petition on its merit while itemizing several monumental failures of the petitioners to provide any evidence in support of their much touted case. While affirming the election and declaration of the second appointment at the reference uh, presidential election, the lower court also found that the appellants did not prove any of the allegations on the requisite standards of proof. Can you imagine? In his reply on the 25% requirement in your city, Tinubu told the Apex Court that Obi was on fishing expedition. He said the other very remote contention is that the second respondent did not score 25% of the votes recorded at the Federal Capital Territory. With much respect to the appellant, the petition is more of a fishing expedition, 
much more of evocation of thunder without dews. Hmm. So Tinubu, however, said the tribunal judgment was in order, adding that it is against the well-considered judgment of the lower court that the appellants have brought this appeal. So what they're saying now is that uh, this, of this appeal lack merit, substance, and good faith. How? How uh, they're saying that the the lower court, which is actually the the tribunal, uh, carefully looked at the case and found that it lacked merit as they did not provide evidence, you know, to further buttress or prove their claims that the election was marred with violence and with thuggery and all forms of malpractices. These people can see blue and turn it black. With all that we saw, with all that happened in River State under the nose of Governor Nguiki, then Governor Nguiki, or with all that happened in Lagos, perpetrated by M. Sulo, more violence against the non Yorubas in Lagos. Where, what else? Eh? Or is it with what happened at the RF Potter? Eh? By shutting down the RF Potter and the network so that the people handling the uh the 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 bvs machine at poly unit could not upload so all forms of the things that annex said they wouldn't do was what they did what kind of country is this i tell you yeah and now this is alani Pekun, who actually knows the truth so that that's something to say lawyers are actually the problem of nigeria Alani Beku knows the gospel truth about this matter, but is the person now twisting everything. The same way Fanny Gai, Fanny, Fanny uh, Gani Fawahimi, okay, Gani Fawahimi, in over 20 years ago when he was alive, took Tinubu to court on forgery. Eh? This same Femi Falano was a Tinubu's lawyer at that time and covered everything and now won the case, okay, as against the wish of Nigerians and Lagosians. Now the matter has become a national issue. Femi Falano cannot speak again. He's quiet now because he has seen the problem he has caused Nigerians. He can't say anything about it. Yeah? Now the same way Olani Peku is seeing what is wrong. I'm twisting the law, interpreting it wrongly to suit themselves. Look at what is happening in Nigeria. Hi. When some people say Nigeria is obviously not going to get better under this kind of people, it looks like it's a cause or speaking negativity into Nigeria. It is not. Look at the trend. Look at the antecedent. Look at the precedent. Look at everything happening now. All the indicators, all the indices are showing that Nigeria is a not in any way pointing towards correcting the situation. They say it's pointing in any way to get better at all. Huh? How can Olani Kwekun be speaking on behalf of Tinubu because they will say Tinubu speak? Tinubu cannot even hold press press conference. He's using his, his special assistants and lawyers to speak. He can't even come out to speak. That is how bad it is. Eh? And now look at the situation we're facing now. They are looking for a way to influence the the uh, Supreme Court now. We know that the Supreme Court is their, is their baby. Nobody's expecting anything good to come. I'm sure the only way we can recover Nigeria now, exactly what Nadeko did to the military, is what Nadeko need to do again to this, 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 uh, tyrannic, uh, democratic setting. Because this one is too tyrannical, too dictatorial. We are now in democratic dictatorship as it is more, almost worse than military. So the only way to get Nigeria right is to repeat exactly what Nadeko did to the military is what they have to do to this group of people in government. That's the only way. So thank you for listening and let's have a government. I mean your comment. <laughs>